Some of the people who claim to have lost their money in the Soraya housing properties are demanding their money back with interest and the rent income they had projected. Speaking to Citizen TV, the investors claim that times has times have changed and inflation must also be factored in. Tonight we've managed to get inside some of the Soraya project sites and as Enox Ecole reports, the situation is shocking. This is people's millions flooded. I think I uh, got conned, and that's the truth. I genuinely believed I was making um, a purchase for an apartment. I acted in good faith. I did my part, I made my installments, and I have no apartment. The completion date uh, when we spoke to them was December 2014. But almost five years later, Kenyans who pumped their millions into the housing project under the Suraya Property Group have nothing to smile about. This is what people who invested in the links at Ngong Road expected when they trusted Suraya Group with their hard-earned money. Investors would have received their houses five years ago, but to date, an abandoned building is all that can be seen here. Even this concrete mixer was left behind and is succumbing to nature. The building has become a training facility for a security guard company. We have established that the company that offers security to the project is owed over 2 million shillings. It has since employed the services of an auction firm that is negotiating with the contractor on possible ways of recovering what is owed just in case money doesn't arrive. According to Suraya Property Group website, this project on Mushai Drive, Riverside and Gong Road are ongoing with some still selling at 6.5 million shillings per unit. Pictures on the ground have a paint a story of a project that stalled many years ago. The links at Mushai is another collapsed project. Rusting away are metal roads, razor electric wires and the concrete mixer that seems to be disappearing as vegetation grow around it. Investors seem to have given up on the project. I would like either my money back or my apartments uh, that we paid for. And, and if it's the money, it is with interest because of all that loss that has occurred because of the value of what we Pay, what my wife and I paid all that those years ago and the loss of rental income. I need that refunded. Now let's go to another project site along Riverside Road. It is well guarded but we managed to sneak in with our hidden cameras. Now this is what one will literally say paid millions for the bush. With them, I have two units in different places. The combined amount I have paid so far is 6.28, which is pretty much 80% of the value of the property, not the value, what they wanted us to pay, meaning I only have one installment to make to finish. But if this bush is anything to go by, then Wanjiru and hundreds of Kenyans trapped in the Suraya Group scheme will have to push harder to have their investments back. What was to be the falls at Riverside now appears to be a falls project. Enoxicolia, Citizen TV, Nairobi.